was a bad hit. Yeah. I still remember in that ASL tournament when he first came to America, he, there was a tournament between all the foreign players. Yeah, they had a little, for, a little and, preliminary. Tournament. And he won it. He won it. He beat everybody. With, with a general average of over 1,700. And he was uh, uh, about 17 years old at that age. I uh, think he had just turned 18. 18, yeah. yeah he just by got a couple of days. Of, getting out of the, of, the, of the age to qualifying the, right. out of the, how do you call it, the amateur uh, mm -hmm. uh, classification in Europe. I remember he made one, a, a straight drawback, five rails all the way around the table. It was just sensational. And at the end of the game, he came up to the booth and wanted to see it again himself on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. That was a uh, nice these shot. Are, two of the great young talents that have come along and uh, the old guard like Mr. Kuhlemans and who else would you say? Sang Lee is 45 or 6 now. Uh, he's uh, 42 right now. They have all they can handle with these young players. But Neeling is also uh, very young. He's 24. Yeah, he's, he's a great player from Denmark. He's a great player. Hack Sorensen is also a, a, a Jacob Hack Sorensen mm -hmm. is also a very young player. Um, we got a, a crowd of young players. Now the Turkish Federation also has a couple of uh, young players that uh, one of them shot uh, 2,500 average in one game and uh, didn't qualify, but uh, Look unfortunately. Look at that beautiful hit. Sanchez better watch out with this Wonderful. guy. Wonderful. He's good. Nevertheless, Mr. Sanchez knows how to take the pressure uh, back. he does. That qualifying tournament is, was no easy feat because there's many world-class players in there and they had to qualify. That's so. And for this young fellow to make it is, sh shows that he has to be good. He's got three and he's running the clock very nicely too as he's giving him safe plenty of space within between innings. He's got 170 seconds to his favor so he's, uh, he's doing pretty good. Bob, we got uh, Mr. Mike Seamus visiting here in the booth. It's quite an honor and a pleasure quite to have him honor. here with us. He, How are you is, doing, Mike? Mike is doing some. Uh, oh boy, uh, we can see Mike in the booth here. That will be a. Uh, Mike came out early. Really and, great. Uh, went through the referee school, so he's doing some of the refereeing. Look at this nice action. Four. Beautiful. That's a run of four. He should have a couple more here. Well, he's really uh, going for it. Uh, he's going to go off the white, even though there's a slight chance of a kiss there. A lot of concentration on the Turkish player, and uh, the Turkish Federation yeah. puts a lot of pressure on their, on their uh, qualifiers. Well, Sagener has energized that whole nation uh, with his fine play, so he's going to avoid any chance of a kiss and go for the short angle. Got to be a delicate hit. Very nicely executed, Bob. And for those of you who haven't seen this type of ball, and both cue balls have the red spots so that those of us watching on videotape or up in the bleachers can easily see the spin. It adds a lot for the spectator. He's got a good position here, and he's already yes. on a run of five. One of the favorite positions on the table, very many choices, big balls, uh, easy hit. And he does it again. Six. That's a six. Well, six. This, this isn't the easiest possible position, but it's certainly an open position. Saginer was telling me that he won 167 consecutive matches in Turkey and he was the king, but now he's got the breed of new players and he says it's about time they start beating me. You know, <laughs> yeah. They're getting too good. So he said, I gotta watch out and uh, do not allow them any possibilities of beating me, but they mm -hmm. can definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Now he's probably gonna play this just three rails. Here's some speed here. The speed helps shorten it up. Very he nice. He just barely got it. Very nice, the way he came out of that first ball, Bob. Uh, very nice and easy. 
natural angle. Yeah. And he's got seven up there. I think he'll probably play this shot. He's going to a big ball I would there. I say so, and the position as he drives the ball back into the yes, long sir. rail. Looking uh, at it carefully. Why don't you give him a, the, the viewer a little uh, explanation of the time limitation? Well, basically, every player has some, uh, uh, that starts with 160 seconds on the clock, and they can use it, uh, you, they can use as many seconds as they want, but they cannot run out of time. If they use their time allowance, then they're out of the competition. I mean, they lose the match, the set, I would say. But if they don't use all the time, the time left on every inning, it is the adds up to the next shot, and they get another 160 points. Mm -hmm. Is that did I make it clear, Bob? It's pretty clear, but it's it's for those of us who have never played under that system. Uh, yes, that's uh, Mr. Seamus, the Mr. Seamus, who's the, on the referee uh, board. He's telling me that uh, it's the uh, 150, 150 to start and 30 seconds per shot. So you can never more than 240. Look at this. So that's the that's a lot, you know. Okay, there's a run of nine, and he's still in very good position. A lot of seconds, but you have to be quick shooting. Thank you, Michael. He's ahead 10 to two, and is on a run of nine. So he's serving notice on Mr. Sanchez not to take him too lightly. Oh, definitely second yeah. inning. What do you think he will do here, Bob? Oh, he's he's going to just play. I, I, he might actually have a two-way shot here. If he goes in a hair long, he might be able to still come out of the corner and make it. Ten. There's a run of 10. On the second inning, you can see the quality of uh, capability of these Turkish players are getting better and better, as Sami Sagan mentioned earlier. Very concentrated, very dedicated, keeping Mr. Sanchez sitting down, no possibilities of scoring no that way. No possibility. Now this is his first really difficult shot in his whole run. It sure looks uh, possibly Every looking into going on a four-railer. Yeah, I, th I think that's what uh, he's going to do. Look, he's using a lot of spin, so on the on the fourth rail, it'll really spin. There's one, two, three. Very and he has nice. to spin down to that ball. Very nice. Look at that. What a shot! And, he's and the crowd gets excited. <laughs> it's a fabulous shot. Sure, sure, keeping it up uh, with 11, 11, a run of 11. It's just amazing to see these young players playing so well. It's unbelievable. And he's got one more for 12. I, is that the high run so far? So far is the highest run. Yeah, that's correct. We had Mr. Jasper had one of 11 yesterday, mm -hmm. and he had one of 10 in the previous set. I know there's been a couple of at least two 11s and out. But, but he's in very good position here for another score. And he's able to go up with the highest run, which is also an additional uh, prize for the, the player who makes the higher run. Here's a real thin hit, and uh, I think even I could make this one. But but I might not have made the, the first 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, look at the position. And perfect position. It looked like he's running out the door quickly. Oh, man, he's got to make this, and that's 14 and out. You can see Mr. Sanchez giggling at it and saying, Was boy, am I in troubles here. And he sure got it. Beautiful. 14 and out. How do you all like it? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's, oh, it's, boy. Uh, it was just a picture-perfect run. It was